Hello everyone, welcome back to TechLoud channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about exposure of DHCP messages. As DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and it's an application layer protocol. DHCP is based on a client server model and based on its main messages like discovery, offer, request and acknowledgement. It uses port number which is 67 for the server side and 68 for the client side. So let's now look into a little bit about the DHCP messages. At first we have the DHCP discover. So this message client broadcast to find available DHCP server where DHCP offer that server response to the client discover message offering configuration parameters. Then we got the DHCP request. So under this client message to one or more server to do many things like to request parameter from one server and implicitly decline offer from other server. Then it confirmed that a previously allocated address is correct after. So for example, like system or reboot and then it also asked for the extend the release of network address extend the lease of network address and then at the end in this message DSCP acknowledgement uh, this is being sent by the server there are some other messages in DSCP like DSCP pack DSCP NAC DSCP decline DSCP release and DSCP inform all these messages we have already explained in a DSCP video and uploaded so we'll share a link in the description you can watch from there too now moving on so here we can see that how a DHCP client and server process the message where client send DHCP discover and request message and server send offer and acknowledgement messages. Coming to also if you have a Wireshark capture so there too we can find the DHCP process like this on the screen we can see we have discover offer request and acknowledgement message under under the IP datagram so this is how you can find out a DHCP messages in a Wireshark log capture moving on let's now look into some of the components important components of DHCP which is DHCP server so DHCP server is basically a server that hold IP address and other information related to configuration then DHCP client it is basically a device that receive configuration information from the server. It can be a mobile, laptop, computer or any other electronic device that require a IP address connection. Then DHCP relay. DHCP relay basically work as a communication channel between DHCP client and that server. Then the IP address pool. It is the pool or uh, we can say container of IP address possessed by the DHCP server. It has a range of address that can be allocated to devices. Then we have the lease. It is simply the time that how long the information received from the server is valid. In case of expiration of the lease, the tenant must have to reassign the lease to the client. Then DHCP server, DNS server, sorry. So DHCP server can also provide DNS server information to DHCP client, allowing them to resolve domain name to IP address there we have the default gateway so DHCP server can also provide information about the default gateway which is the device that packet are sent to when the destination is outside the local network another one option like DHCP server can provide additional configuration option to the client such as subnet mask domain name and the time server information NTP information there it has the renewal so DHCP client can request to renew their lease before it expires to ensure that they continue to have a valid IP address and configuration information. Then we have the failover. DHCP server can be configured for failover where two servers work together to provide redundancy and ensure that clients can always obtain an IP address and configuration information even if one server goes down. Then we have the dynamic updates. So DHCP server can also be configured to dynamically update DNS records with the IP address of DHCP client, allowing for easier management of network resources. At the end, we have the audit logging. 
that DSCP server can keep audit log of all DSCP transaction providing administrator with visibility into which devices are using which IP address and when lease are being assigned or renewed. This is all about the basic fundamental of DHCP and DHCP messages. If you would like to know more about DHCP, we have already uploaded DHCP part 1 and DHCP part 2 video in which you can find all the messages in detail, how exactly they communicate to each other, what data they share in the message and many more information about DHCP. We have shared the link in description and also you can visit the channel page. I hope this video provides some high level go to knowledge about DHCP, please hit the like button, share, subscribe and comment your query or suggestion. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.